Hey guys, uh, Gage here. Uh, just wanted to give a little update on the three star challenge. Uh, going pretty well so far. Uh, it has definitely added an element of challenge to the game that seemed to be missing when I first started playing with all the Nat 5s and Nasdans and re-rolling and uh, everything going on. I was able to use a, a friend rep Nasdan and pretty much breeze through most of the game at the first start. But with this not utilizing any 4 stars or 5 stars or even using friend reps that aren't Nat 3s, um, it's definitely made me strategize and have to build different units to progress through certain stages. Um, I've just now got to where I can consistently do uh, warnings easily. Um, I The MVP has definitely been my Reptile Warrior and my one of the people that are in stream wanted to join me and started and got a uh, shaman, Masco Shaman, that a lot of people use to farm 4-4 four, four normal. Um, he's powered him up pretty well. They have definitely been the strong points of the team thus far. Uh, I did get my Dark Fairy late, so she's playing catch-up, and my Hatchling is late. Uh, my favorite unit, though, that I've gotten has probably been this Orc Archer. He just is cool. Uh, I'm trying to get skill ups for him, but yeah. Uh the what makes this three star challenge so great is that a lot of this stress of farming is out. You don't have to farm twelve hundred crystals a day. You just need to do your three hundred to get your three to five star summons. Because you're only keeping the three stars. Uh any four stars you get and five stars you, I've just been turning around and selling right back four crystals. Um yeah, uh, Void Souls, you'll never need, never need any. You don't really have to worry about stage three of the canister vial dungeon thing, because most of the three stars, when you six star them, don't need them. It's it's just been pretty fun. It, it looks like it's going to add a real challenge to complete the wanted bosses of what I'm wanting to achieve. I'm wanting to beat Lycan and Banu with three stars. We'll see if that's possible here when I get a team up there and start farming for them. Um, the units that I've pulled so far, bunch of bunch of Nat 3s. I've tried a bunch of different ones to see. And I'm farming a bunch of ones now and skilling them up just to, they may have potential in the future. <laughs> One I'm really interested in building is the Golem here. Uh, Trent was real powerful when the game first came out, and a lot of people used him for PvP and uh, to survive some of the harder fights. But I noticed the Golem here has a physical immunity increase by 30% and a defense buff on his uh, second skill. And I don't know, it seems, seems like it might be fun, fun to use. Uh, I did realize real quick that the Reptile Archer is pretty disappointing. <laughs> with the jump passive and the reduced jump skill, he's pretty much like the archer version of like Kaleas. Um Yeah, uh, definitely recommend trying this out if you're wanting a challenge or you're just wanting something to break the daily grind. It is a lot of fun, and uh, a lot of people that have frequent my streams have participated and seem to be enjoying it as well. Yeah, this is just episode one update. Uh, I wanted to get everybody up to speed because I just managed to six star my reptile warrior and a beast. Uh, what he is max skilled. Thank you guys.